Hello everybody, Zombie here, and we're back with wa The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 3 on the channel. Um, God damn, man, this game is just... It brings, brings back so many fucking memories that I just can't even handle it. But, uh, yeah, we're starting exactly off where we did last time. Um, we have to get the pills out of the pharmacy. We saved Glenn. The whole thing over there happened. Now we gotta look around for these keys. Um, cause I didn't see anything in the office when I was looking around the office. Um, Glenn's a, Glenn's a pimp apparently, I, I don't know how that works. I don't know how my man's just gonna be out here pimping. Well, in the zombie apocalypse. Let's talk to this guy, we haven't talked to this guy a single Heard time. Have seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> Not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Yeah, let's have a look. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. See someone that looks recognizable over sitting on the corner over there. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. Oh yeah, definitely. So in the last one, um, let me get some context here before I point this out. In the last one, uh, before we went out to look for Glenn, we went into the office and we found a picture of Lee, his dad, his mom, and his brother, I'm guessing. Um, and in the photo, the brother had a nurse's type outfit on. And... Um, <sighs> He's... That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as that's good his... as bad as we can make. That's yeah, his brother. I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. It wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Haha. -ha. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Yeah, they don't really care about the CV. Guessing there's no stations either. Tool shop. Can you use the remote on this? Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal. <laughs> it's not that universal. I know. <laughs> that is the best. I love that so much. Okay, so we gotta figure out how to get these guys away from him. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Shit, man. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. 
Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Is there a rock? Ah, brick. I'm sorry. I know I'm looking around way too much. I can't reach that brick. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Get the brick. I can't reach that brick. What? Searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here? I do, motherfucker. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them. <sighs> who knows if he actually worked here? How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so... You probably knew the owners then. Yeah, Their nose is so edgy. Good people. God. Okay, uh, I think I need to tell him to go inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. No shit, that's not what I wanted. <sighs> okay, so let's go back outside. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Back. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I need that brick, can't but reach I can't brick. reach it, apparently. Um, open. <laughs> there we go. That's why I couldn't reach it. Okay. So now we should. Those TVs are. God damn it! On, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. <coughs> Come on, babies! Get attracted by the noise. Now's the time. No, come on. Time to see if he has the keys. <sighs> this has to be hard for him. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? If it's something. Let him have a moment. I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you to take care of him and helped. Oh. <sighs> 
It's not bad. You gotta hit him in the head, Lee, not the neck. Hit him in the head. There you go. Fuck. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. That's the door to the pharmacy. I should be able to find pills for you. Come on, I don't want to hit it with the fucking axe. Good attempt, Lee. God's strongest soldier right here. All right, let's get them fucking bills for asshole. Oh no! Shit! We gotta hurry. God, every fucking walker in the area is gonna be coming towards that goddamn place. Oh man. This one is so important. Oh, never mind. It's just following. Oh my god. Oh. Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. <laughs> stay away from the windows. Oh God, what happened? Why? Why is it? Why is it doing this? We don't make it through this. You should know that. You're a great guy. Shut up, Doug. We'll make through this. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. Y'all need to stop. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. Oh, Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. Can you look at something that's sticking between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Come on, you fucks. Oh, God. Q, damn it, Q. The cane. Something super strong, baby. Fuck. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, no. Uh, I feel like I should go for Carly because she has the gun. Uh, I chose to save Doug. No! No! 
No, I feel terrible. Let's go. Uh, oh God. What? You bastard! You old fuck! Get up! I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. What the fuck? Larry, you piece of shit! Oh, Larry, you dick! He almost got Lee killed. I don't remember that. Now you better take Larry out. We Larry is on the hit list. Ain't no way I'm letting that slide. Lee, you are way too lax, man. The fuck is Larry? We're we're talking. We're having some words, my boy. Dude, I feel so bad about Carly. Oh man, I thought she'd have bullets. I think I need to go. To <sighs> lunch. Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I mean, you do you, man. If if you want to go, you go. I think that's the wrong call. You got to do what you got to do. Find your friends. I'm just gonna tell. You got to do what you got to do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. I don't know why the the top bar stain there. I'm sorry. Me and Larry are having words. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. That's the first person I'm going to talk to. Oh, I guess Thank not. You. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today... I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. Oh, man. You know, I like it. We haven't, we've been through emotional things already with this, and we, you know, we've done, we've lost people, we've had emotions, we've had anger, we've had all that. But right now, man, all I can feel is sad because these, these poor people, man. Imagine having to go through this. How you doing, Doug? Oh, don't tell me he's mad because I didn't save Carly. We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you, too. She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? 
Well, we both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed help. No. Oh. I guess that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish you would have picked her. I know. <sighs> the reason I picked Doug is because in my mind, I thought that Carly had another, like, another bullet or two, and she would have been fine. Doug had no defense. Doug had no help. <sighs> Man. It's all like, pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. It was just walkie-talkie, so... Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, man. Come Fuck I'm you. Not... What do you mean, come here what for a second? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? <clears throat> I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. All I have to do is get you flustered a little bit and you're out of here. I don't give a fuck. Tell him who I am. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. God, I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, <sighs> Man, we got water, I feel bad about Carly, dude. We got light. Fuck. There are worse places to call home. <sighs> yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. No. And all the power went out. To be continued. <laughs> Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. Alrighty, guys. We're gonna call it good here. We're gonna cut it at this because we'll see it all in the next one anyway. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.